we back with another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey, man. Everybody loves BBW. Of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up, everybody? And of course, man, uh, my man Bo is still out on sabbatical. Um, I know this is a couple episodes, but we filmed them all in the same day. So <laughs> we go roll it right along. <laughs> um, if you checked out the last episode, man, we, uh, we did Duke and Dane, which is uh, 2018's most awarded salted caramel uh, whiskey. So uh, that was pretty dope. Uh, we moving uh we moving forward this time and we're going with some uh elijah craig right so elijah craig this one is the small batch so it's not the uh it's not the proof hunter uh one that the angry principal loves which you say is like 130 proof or something 100, 127 oh god that's it's, a lot of alcohol it's, it's glorious <laughs> is that glorious that's because you love a higher proof dad um let me ask you this then real quick um what was your first experience with uh elijah craig Actually, this version that we're drinking right now this was my first uh, foray into Elijah Craig. Okay. Uh, this is another one of those gateway type bourbons. Okay. You know, once you get into it, once you taste it, okay. Kind of like, like Buffalo Trace. Like Buffalo Trace, the Wolf okay. Reserve. Um, you're going to get all your classic notes, but Elijah Craig definitely does that. Um, I know a couple of years ago they had, uh, I, I want to say it was theirs. They mm-hmm. had the accident with one of the Rick houses uh, collapsed. Really? So all those barrels went to waste. What? And then it wound up washing out. I think it was Elijah Craig, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. You know, it was. <laughs> it, it almost became a, um, I think they came out with a bourbon where, um, is either that or 1792, one or the other. One or two, okay. I, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comments. Let me know okay. which one it was. <laughs> right. Uh, but they had to go in and they made them the, uh, they made a special edition out of the ones that were had uh Collapsed in that Rick house. So Got you. I want to say it was Elijah Craig, but it may have been seventeen ninety two. It's yeah. crazy how how much stuff can happen while you're trying to distill. Like I mean, it's a. I look at uh, I look at Moonshiners because uh, my old man, of course. Uh, and I, I watched it and just looking at the process. Obviously, they doing theirs out in the woods, but uh, the process of distilling is uh, it really is science. Like stuff can really go wrong, especially yeah. with, especially with the equipment or where you having it housed. That especially like let's say that you already have it housed and it's in a barrel, and something happens in that structure, like what you're saying. Right. Like uh, a million things can happen, and these are things that are being you know that's sitting around for at least four years. So anything can happen at that point. Like you right. can have a rodent issue, you can have animals, <laughs> a structure can collapse, right. catch fire. You know what I'm saying? Like any of that stuff can happen. Those so those sad days when things like that happen. <laughs> right? Can you imagine just losing all that liquor? Well, remember a couple of years ago on I-94, a uh, truckload of Crown Royal. Yes, and yes. All that liquor fell onto the on the street. That was a sad day. I, 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 it, it I was shed a little tear that man, day. They were literally showing it going down the sewer drain. Uh, <laughs> I was like, "Wow!" I'm talking about running down the sewer. And just look at all that liquor just you hate going to away. See stuff like that happen. So <laughs> alcohol abuse, man, sad for sure. Days. <laughs> Very sad day. Though. So my uh, and the Crown Royal <laughs> truck. <laughs> you said go put those together. Put them together, man. <laughs> That's a it's terrorist a joke, attack. Everybody, relax. <laughs> right. I know, right? It's a joke. It's a terrorist attack on, on alcohol. Um, so my uh, first experience was like actually a few years ago. Um, I kind of like we were drinking. We were drinking larceny at a party I was at, and uh, somebody brought in Elijah Craig. So I had some, uh, but I never actually had a chance to experience it because, like you know, sometimes uh, some some uh, some drinks you have to experience it by itself. Like once you drink it, something else, and then you kind of just like uh, you know. For lack of a better term, you're already drunk, so you don't really know what it tastes like. So I vaguely remember it. So this is kind of going to be like the first time all over uh, again for me. Um, you did just get me excited by uh, referencing uh, Buffalo Trace, which at this point, uh, between that Wolf Reserve and uh, and uh, Uncle Nearest is like my those are probably in my my top three at this point. So we now definitely this, go check that out. Now this Elijah Crick comes in at 94 proof. Mm-hmm. And it is does not have an age statement on it. Okay. Which I believe at one time they used to have an age statement on it. So okay. Uh, the fact that it doesn't means they're blending a whole lot of different barrels. Right. Together for the for the same flavor profile. So. Gotcha. Ninety four proof though is good. Yes, ninety four. Yeah, proof. ninety four proof is good. Uh, I know the proof hunter is always looking for over a hundred, <laughs> but <laughs> but we can definitely roll with this. And then uh, today I've got as usual I've got my Romeo and Juliet Reserve. Uh, I, I smoke a lot of those. Uh, what you smoking on today? Got a Macanudo uh, Maduro. Okay, all right. We gonna see how these match up uh, with the flavor profiles here. Obviously, if it's uh, reminiscent of 
uh, Buffalo Trace, then it's going to be a pretty good match for me because I always smoke these and I always drink Buffalo Trace. So <laughs> let's get down to it, man. Elijah Craig, go ahead and do the honors. We'll All see what right. the cork sounds like today. Mmm. Okay. Good. Pretty yeah, good sound. A little bit better than Salted Carmel. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, it was about the same. Was it? That Salted Carmel had a good pop to it. It did, though. Yeah, let's see what we're talking about here. Let's see. I see you already made that reference to Buffalo Trace, so I got to see. Oh, I should have rinsed the glass out. I, I, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. We both should have, uh, but same time. <laughs> you can, and I think it's because my palate is still stuck on it is. some other stuff, so. It's not, ta it's not affecting the taste, though, I don't think. It's the smell on the rim. It's the smell. Yeah, outside. okay. Yeah, this shit is good, though. I edited this shit out. Man, classic. Classic cherry. Classic wood char. Classic vanilla. Yeah. Like, almost a leathery taste to it. I don't know. It's just. That might be the, just the wood char. I'm just. Yeah, that's why I'm going to say wood char. Yeah, I, I say that. Everything about Elijah Gregg is classic. Mm -hmm. It is. It is reminiscent to Buffalo Trace. I think a little more. So this is a hard one for me because you know how, because it's, it's something different at the at the finish, right? So you know how sometimes if you put too much cinnamon in something, it's got like a burn kind of. So there's a spiciness to this. So it could be spice or it right. could be cinnamon. Like, I don't know which one it is. I don't taste cinnamon and I don't okay. taste fruit. Whereas right. I taste that in Buffalo Trace. Okay, I got you. I don't get, I get the, uh, the spiciness, yeah. but I don't get the fruit taste. So gotcha. that's the. Difference now, I do get the cherry and the vanilla. Okay, I don't get the sure. stone fruits like in uh Buffalo Trace. So yeah, that's the difference. I got you. Yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely reminiscent though of Buffalo Trace. I think off of off of the nose, I definitely can tell the difference though. I mean, obviously, because I, I know my Buffalo Trace, <laughs> which I'll give it to you. We did both prove we knew what our For Buffalo sure. Trace was, but it, we were nervous. It was a little tricky we though. It was a little tricky. I can't lie. So, like I said, blind taste these things, people. If you if you want to see if your palate is good enough or your taste buds are um, up to the challenge. Start blind tasting some of these. We did uh, Wolf of Reserve and Buffalo, Buffalo Trace, Trace before. Yep. Add Elijah Craig to the mix. See what happens. Yeah. I, I, hey, look, I'm saying it now because the other two not sitting in front of us. I'm trying to say that I'll be. That's a good one though. Cause I, I, I think I can, I can decide between the two, but between the three, I'm definitely not gonna be able to. If I had to taste test between three, I'm definitely gonna fuck that up. Between two, I think I can do it. Between three, maybe not. But I think I think that the I think that the the spiciness of the hug on this one will differentiate that one. I think. Oh my goodness! What a cigar! The cigar, perfect. yeah. All right, let oh, me that's let a me check that out. Taste with the cigar, yeah. Because I know it's already classic with uh with uh because Buffalo all, Trace. All of a sudden, I got some kind of banana taste in it. But now I had the cigar, okay, along with the the bourbon. All of a sudden, banana came out. Now, I don't know okay. where that came from because I didn't. Because you didn't have no fruits my, at first. That yeah. was not in my profile before. Definitely, it, it, it comes across. It's a, Elijah Craig, 94 Proof is an everyday sipper. You can sip this every single day without a problem and feel like you're doing the, doing yourself right mm. and giving yourself a nice little treat at the end of a long day at work. I'm going to do something a little different. I've seen this on a YouTube video. See how this works. <laughs> Now, I guess the big question for me is, oh, you're smoking it. Yeah. Okay. I see this on a YouTube video. Okay. Here we go. See, see <laughs> yeah, what that right. is. Look, you shotgun your own, your own drink. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just want to see. Now, if you're a scotch drinker, then the smoky taste is what you're looking for. Right. I think, yeah, all it did was add kind of a smokier taste to it. I think that you got a Maduro, right? Yeah. I think it's a little more bold than my Romeo and Juliet. That's probably how you pulled out some different some different flavors. I think this uh the smoke in this one kind of mellowed it out. I still didn't get any like any fruit taste to it though. You said banana though. That's a that's a I, weird one. For whatever reason, once yeah. I smoked the cigar, the <laughs> banana taste popped out. Yeah. Uh I don't know why. I'm gonna try it again and make sure I, I tasted the right thing. Make sure that was it. But yeah, definitely uh definitely a, a, a classic one though. And and again, this is my uh, kind of uh, reintroduction to Elijah Craig. So just going back to the beginning, uh, the nose, you, you like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, Chiquita. It's Chiquita. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Chiquita all the way. 
so just going back to um like the original like just the start off the start of it all right so the nose i think is comparable uh to uh buffalo trace possibly not i i i, I want to say that the the caramel is a little bit more present in buffalo trace and it's weird to me because for me like caramel and vanilla are oddly similar on nose you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like the taste you can you can tell the difference but on the nose caramel and vanilla is almost like damn near synonymous with me so that that's always tough for me so a lot of times i say things smell like caramel y'all be like it's vanilla i'll be like shit i don't know <laughs> so then i taste it and i'm like oh yeah it is so if I had Buffalo Trace, Woofer Reserve, and Elijah Craig sitting right next to each other, that's exactly the order I put it in. Buffalo Trace will be on the fruitier side. Elijah Craig will be on the spicier side. Got you for sure. The spice is definitely on this one. Like I say, at the at the hug of it, at the end of it, the finish uh, is definitely some spice there. And I equated the spice with uh, with cinnamon only because, like the other day, I was drinking some tea, and I think I put way too much cinnamon in it, and like it ended up being spicy. So that's why I was like, damn, maybe that's like some over cinnamon instead of spice like you know what i'm saying like it's it's kind of similar right um because i like I, I dibble and dabble in teas as well you know what i'm saying <laughs> never i've never had a cigar with, with tea have you i have not tried it but now you got me interested <laughs> right i'm just thinking like i wonder what that would be like i might have to drop some uh drop some elijah craig in the tea that too huh? the, hey, any any drink's gonna look good, go good well with some elijah craig so. right for sure um so just looking at that like if you had to do those three we we're talking about the blind taste test um of those three like which one would, would be your favorite though out of those three right now i'm still with the woofer reserve okay uh, as far as the gate your gateway bourbons your yeah. classic bourbons mm -hmm. i'm still with woofer reserve as my favorite mm -hmm. uh the the next contest becomes between uh elijah craig and buffalo trace which gotcha. one is there and i'm not sure yeah, that yeah. may be a, a battle we have to try one we day have to try that one and day see, yeah. see which one comes out we have to do a blind tasting to see which one we like the best but yeah, yeah elijah craig uh is right there with that gateway um gateway bourbon, <laughs> gateway drug kind of <laughs> gateway bourbon uh right there. it's it's because it's available everywhere for sure You're looking at anywhere from 25 to 31 dollars 31 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on where you are and then uh, yeah not expensive got, at all right they've got enough different expressions of elijah craig mm -hmm. all the way up to the barrel proof which is why well, i say again it's the barrel glorious proof. that is a that's a lot of proof bro that is that is worth that's every, a lot of proof every sip is worth it and you know what we gotta we gotta do again i think because we did the gift set and i had one the other day i found one the uh the uh makers mark 46 okay uh the the cask uh mm -hmm. castra it is that's, it's, that's, it's, yeah that's it is really stuff, it so. is so we, we tried it before because we had all three of those i think we should at one point go ahead and dedicate a full show to it because it's, it's definitely worth it and right. i found out where i can find some of that so okay uh, that same place actually um has a uh, has orders for blantons as well so we see i don't know if you want some or not I, you know what i don't know if everybody i know we're switching subjects real quick yeah we are real blantons, quick yeah. i like blantons mm -hmm. it's a flavor explosion is it worth the hunt that everybody's going on that's a di discussion for another day because yeah. i saw a bottle the other day for 200 dollars for a right. something proof right bourbon. yeah that's a lot. Yeah. For that if you if you bought little, it regularly, it'd probably right, be sixty dollars. For a little horse character on the top. Right. right? And Blanton's <laughs> is great marketing. Beautiful marketing. Oh yeah. This Elijah the Craig Barrel Proof. This Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is great marketing, especially at sixty nine bucks. Yeah. It's uh, fifty nine to sixty nine bucks. Mm -hmm. That's great marketing. The wooden cork for all your Elijah Craigs, those are all great marketing pieces. But yeah. if Blanton's worth two hundred dollars. I walked away very quickly. It was nice <laughs> to see a bottle of blends, because right. I don't see that in the in the stores, but exactly. I'm walking away. <laughs> not now, worth it, though. Am I going to walk away from an Elijah Craig barrel proof, and I see it at a reasonable price? Not but at all. I'm not walking away. <laughs> you get that I'm regardless. I'm straight to it. Elijah Craig, luckily, if I'm going over someone's house uh, for some type of get-together mm -hmm. when COVID ever ends, I'll take a bottle. <laughs> if it of, ever ends, right? right. <laughs> I have zero problem taking an Elijah Craig over to introduce people to bourbon or for to sure. feel like I'm not bringing some cheap crap over to somebody's yeah, house. Elijah no Craig doubt. is a good way to go. Now, speaking of uh, introductory, uh, real quick, and we go move back to Elijah Craig by itself, but uh, speaking of introductory, um, you don't often mention uh, Evan Williams in there as introductory. I, I like that as well. I think as a, a introduction, I do think that the vanilla is a lot sweeter uh, or a little bit overpowering than the other, so it may be a little sweeter uh, for some people, but I think that you can kind of throw that into the, the gateway. The only way I'll put Evan Williams on here well, is the, the 100 proof, the, I mean. 
you got your your bottle and bond. You got mm-hmm. that the white mm-hmm. label. If I was going to put apples to apples, I would put the Eli- uh, Evan Williams single barrel. Okay. Uh, that one it goes at twenty nine bucks, so okay. it's right in the same range as your Buffalo, Buffalo Trace, Trace. Wolf Reserve, Elijah Craig. Four it's rows. in that same mm-hmm. uh, realm. Now, mm-hmm. if you go to Evan Williams, the black label or white label mm-hmm. bottle and bond now you're dealing with your cheaper bourbons that's mm-hmm. a lot more source than the single bar- single barrel or single batch that you're dealing with with this Elijah Craig gotcha. and the Wolf Reserve so okay. it's kind of an apples to apples type of thing like apples you. to oranges kind of thing yeah. if you're going to do if you're going to put Evan Williams into this you'd have to go with the single barrel I got you okay that makes sense that makes sense Um, but like so so with these I think that if I had to choose between all three again I'm sorry I'm still stuck on uh, <laughs> I'm still stuck <laughs> on Buffalo Trace man which if you were here in the studio right now you would see all 12 of the empty bottles uh, so and those are just the ones I didn't throw away yet so yeah that's definitely my favorite Elijah Craig though just uh, speaking off rip right now just from this kind of almost being like an introductory again um, I think I, I still love it though. Like it's still good. I think the uh, for me, I think the hug and the finish is a, a little bit smoother to me for on the uh, Buffalo Trace. So I do like this, but I'm extra. And, and it might be it might be your fault, Anger Prince. Well, I think now <laughs> you didn't put in my head so much about that damn barrel proof <laughs> that like now I want that. You know what I'm saying? It's like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm drinking this. I'm doing myself a disservice. Right. right. But it's still it's it's still good. Don't yeah. get me wrong. So the review on this is definitely is classic. And I think that even if uh, even if you don't view it as a gateway, I think this is still a this is just a a, a good it's a good drink regardless. Like whether you've uh, been introduced to bourbons and whiskeys or not. I think that this is still a, a, a go back to like you go back to this. You can do this on the rocks. You can mm-hmm. do this neat, mixed. Yeah. You can well, that's why I was going to ask you. You can do everything with this Elijah Craig. What about that? Bro. How is it? How is it with uh, the great. mix? Okay, it's just it's because it's ninety four. It's usually mm-hmm. a little higher than the others at ninety. Yeah. Right. Uh, so you got a slightly higher, uh, more of a hug at the end. Right. But as far as the mixed drinks. It's great. It's you still can, great. You cannot go wrong with this large yeah. crate. Yeah, I think it's probably because of the the vanilla and the caramel, and I think that makes it real right. a real good mix for right. for most things. Yeah. Right. So I I'm enjoying it, though, and we about to finish enjoying it. And I just did my little trick with the cigar in the glass, <laughs> which I, I've never done before. I, I think just I'm going to try that. I only seen it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's kind of it's actually kind of cool. So we just learned something. Uh, don't forget, man, if you uh, if you have comments or if you've had Elijah Craig or if you've got some comments about our comments, make sure you do put those into the comment section underneath. And <laughs> you tried it out. I'm trying it. I'm actually going to try it. Right. And I'm not the biggest scotch drinker, so right. this is something different. Something for different for sure. Get that smoky taste. Uh, let us know what you think. And if there are some uh, some drinks, whiskeys, scotch, or bourbons that we haven't tried that you would like us to try, go ahead and put those at the bottom as well. And we may uh, give that a shot the next time, dog. But uh, we're going to finish drinking and smoking cigars. So till the next time, man, you already know. Everybody loves BBW, man. Beards, bourbon, whiskey. That's us. <laughs> till the next time, man. I got Angry Principal holding it down. Damn, that's good. Bourbon Guild on IG. Drink what you like, how you like. My man Bo out on vacation, but for sure salute to him as well. And it's your boy, man, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Drink whiskey and have fun. <laughs> Salute. <laughs>